please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Quinn Kennedy. And I'm Rebecca Spazano. We have tons to tell you about all things Winter Wonderland. As well as a sneak peek into the life of one extra special Viking. All that and so much more because GTV, GTV News starts right now. Welcome back to Neva, and here are your morning announcements for Friday, January 13th, 2023. The Winter Wonderland Pep Rally is coming up on Friday, February 3rd, and we need Vikings to represent each class in the small games. Check your email for a chance to participate, and make sure you sign up by January 27th. Guest passes for the Winter Wonderland Dance are now available in the Dean's Office and on the website. Forms are due back with a copy of the guest's photo ID by February 1st. Folly for a Cause is quickly approaching. All fees and registration are due January 18th. It will be held at 7 p.m. on Monday, January 30th in the contest gym. Student Council says it should be a good time for a good cause. Volley for a Cause is our annual volleyball tournament where teams can either play for fun or competitively and all the proceeds from the tournament will be donated to a good charity. The proceeds will go to help Anderson Pet Shelter this year. Leo's Club will be having a fundraiser on Wednesday, January 18th. Stop by the Chipotle in St. Charles on Randall Road from 4 to 8 p.m. for a burrito or a bowl. 33% of sales will be donated to the cause. Attention all juniors and seniors taking the seal of biliteracy exam next month. You must select your test date by January 13th. Please check your email for important information from Senora Egan and contact her with any questions. The Scholic Literary and Arts magazine needs your submissions. All forms of creative work are accepted, including art, digital design, writing, and music. If you want your work to be featured in this year's edition, submit it through the Scholic's website, ghfscholic.org, by February 1st. Calling all writers! The conference writing event called Literary Fest is quickly approaching. Categories for judging include descriptive sketch, essays, poetry, and short fiction. Email Ms. Stegg in the library with your writing by January 20th. The festival will be at Batavia High School in April. Members of the National English Honor Society, please attend the meeting today after school in room A100 if you have not gone to the other meetings already. And now for some sports news. The gymnastics varsity and JV teams beat Glenbard North on Wednesday at their senior night meet. Senior Sadie Carlson won the all-around competition and junior Gracie Weems won floor. Congratulations to all our gymnasts. The boys basketball team played at Lake Park on Wednesday night. They won the game 53 to 49. This improved the team's win streak to an astonishing 11 games. They play again tonight at home against Belvedere North. There will, will be a Hall of Fame induction ceremony during the game. And good luck to our dance team. They will be competing in South Elgin this Saturday. For anyone interested in playing soccer this spring, there will be a mandatory preseason meeting for all girls. It will be at 255 to 315 in KK269. See Coach Owens with any questions. If you have probably seen our school's mascot, Vi Victor Viking, at sporting events, pep rallies, and other school activities. But do you know what he does during his downtime? Well, I followed Victor around for a day to see what a day in his life of our mascot looks like, and this is what I found.
Okay, Quinn, what was it like following around a celebrity all day? A lot harder than I expected. I mean, he is so fast. <laughs> And now for a look at today's weather. We have a chilly high of 32 degrees and a low of 20 degrees. But taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather, it will be a bit warmer with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 29 degrees to start off the weekend. And now here's three to know before we go. International Club will meet next Tuesday at 2.50 p.m. and the Spain trip will be meeting on Thursday, January 19th in room J243. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, please make sure your course selection is entered into home access by January 27th. If you have any questions, contact your counselor. And don't forget, Tech Crew can start building the set for this year's spring musical next week. Contact Mr. Fontanetta for more details. And that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Rebecca Spazano. And I'm Quinn Kennedy. Have a fabulous Friday, Geneva.